Um, we know that they have avoided hitting Iranian um, nuclear facilities and oil refinery, which was a big question. Um, I know the United States um, has been discouraging that kind of attack, fearing a major escalation. So this has been a calibrated attack, and um, the ball is in Iran's court just to see how they will respond. I think that the expectation in Tel Aviv is that um, Iran would be too fearful to respond to the attack and that Israel has achieved its objective. But it does really open up uh, a Pandora's box. Um, we have to wait and see how the Iranians respond. At the moment, they are downplaying the extent of damage. Uh, they are um, talking up their anti-air defense system, uh, saying it was successful in deterring and, and aborting the attack. Um, but it really remains to be seen how the authorities in Iran um, feel about the extent of the damage and whether they feel the need and the urgency to respond yet again with another round of missiles towards Israel. I suspect that the Iranian authorities would refrain from doing so because it's really not in their interest to uh, go down the path of escalation. I think um, there would be some differences in the way the new president would um, respond to Israel. I think under uh, Kamala Harris presidency, we are likely to see more of a robust uh, U.S. response to Israel. Uh, and under Trump presidency, basically a carte blanche um, response to Israel. So I think from the... Um, Israeli point of view, they would favor to have Trump in office because it just gives them the freedom to act the way they wish. So we know there is internal pressure within Iran for more aggressive response to Israel. And if they get to have their say, then uh, the whole region can really uh, explode. The whole region can go down a very, very fiery path because uh, the United States will be embroiled in that kind of escalation. The United States has bases in the region. The United States has troops based in Israel now. Uh, if any of the US soldiers are hurt uh, or suffer casualties, that is going to really embroil the United States in the conflict directly. And that's a very dangerous turn.